Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn at Cast Iron Cookware, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. Today I'm going to be sharing a skillet that I recently purchased that looks like a Birmingham stove and range, but it's not. And I'm going to be doing that coming right up. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone that's purchased my product, Easy Beasy Cast Iron Seasoning. The purchase of this product helps keep this channel going, and I appreciate it so very much. So let's get on into the video. Now, if you've been watching this channel, you know one of the telltale signs for a Birmingham Stove and Range skillet is this nice little ridge on the handle, the teardrop hanger hole, and the inset heat ring. Now the Dutch ovens and the chicken fryers are smooth bottom, but uh, all of the skillets have a heat ring. I've seen this piece here on Marketplace and I purchased it from a gentleman in Gadsden, Alabama. Now this skillet has a lot of the telltale signs of Birmingham Stove and Range. It has the ridge on the handle, which is Birmingham Stove and Range style. It has the teardrop hanger hole, but Notice the teardrop is really elongated. And another thing that you don't see on the skillets of Birmingham Stove and Range, raised letters. It's kind of hard to tell in the video, but that is a raised number 14. It looks a lot like the Birmingham Stove and Range 14. Here is a Red Mountain series. Of course, this one has the 14 inset, also has the mold mark. Another key element on the 12s and the 14 is the little tab that is a helper handle. You do not see that on this big skillet right here that I recently purchased. It uh, has no tab at all. Of course, on Birmingham Stove and Range, you only have the tab on the 12 and the 14. Now, this piece sits perfectly flat and it's, it's really beautiful. On the inside, now I haven't done any restoration or stripping. It's just like I found it, but it is very smooth, a nice piece. And also, it's really thick right around the rim very very much like a Birmingham stove and range also we have a little bit of a, a little bit of a sand shift happening right here this happened during the process of making it now usually a Birmingham stove and range Red Mountain era skillet that's in good condition is worth about a hundred and fifty dollars maybe a little more maybe a little less of course prices do change you know next month it might be worth 200 dollars, or it might be worth 125 dollars. it just has a lot to do with supply and demand and how bad you want it now if you're going to have one shipped to you you're going to pay about 30 dollars shipping on a piece that big depending on the type of freight that you use but i was fortunate enough this one here was marked on marketplace for 120 dollars and then it had a strike through 120 and then it had a hundred dollars on there thankfully i didn't have to pay for shipping so i saved about 30 dollars on top of that i think i got a good deal this is a nice skillet it's going to be a good pizza pan or a a big outdoor breakfast skillet i don't know but i really like it i think i got a pretty decent deal I don't think I underpaid too much on it, and I know I did not overpay. So I'm really happy with it. Of course, I did hear that there was a foundry fairly close to the Birmingham Stove and Range foundry about the same time that produced this skillet. Not really sure how true that was. A lot of things are just kind of hearsay. You hear things, you're not really sure if they're true. I think that because it looks very similar to Birmingham Stove and Range, they may have even used the Birmingham Stove and Range piece as a pattern for their molds, but I do not know. So it's kind of interesting. Birmingham Stove and Range was really huge at one time, and their pieces were everywhere, and quite a few were copied. And if you have any information on this particular skillet, 
Do not be afraid to comment in the comments and let me know. I would love to know a little more history about this particular piece, if it was made in Birmingham or not. But all I know is it's not a Birmingham stove and range. Close but no cigar, but it's still a nice piece to have. So I just thought I'd kind of share this find with you and see what you think. And I also wanted to let you know that there are quite a few pieces out there that are similar to Birmingham Stove and Range as far as their attributes, but they're not Birmingham Stove and Range. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please do not forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I promise I'll keep more coming. Thanks again for watching Cast Iron Cookware. Before you go, I'd like to share something with you really quickly. In Proverbs chapter 9, verse 4 and 5, it says, Whoso is simple, let him turn hither. As for him that wanteth understanding, she saith to him, Come, eat of my bread, and drink of the wine which I have mingled. Forsake the foolish and live, and go in the way of understanding. I just want to say, share the word, and be a blessing.